my passion for contemporary art made me do projects and I've been doing them for 40 years to share my love of contemporary art with the Australian public. But 40 years is just the beginning and I want to continue to make better and more important projects in the future. I'm John Caldor. I've been spending a lot of time lately at the Art Gallery of New South Wales because we're working on 40 years of Caldor Public Art projects. It's very exciting for me as it really brings back memories that started in 1969 with Jean-Claude and Christo. Because I'm passionate about contemporary art and I was fortunate that because of business I could travel to New York, to London, to Paris, I, see, I saw what was going on. For example, the explosion of pop art which occurred in the end 50s, early 60s. It was just so different, so vibrant, uh, so exciting. Um, that's when I started to collect. But I thought collecting wasn't enough. I wanted to share my passion for art, for contemporary art, with the Australian public. So that's how I got to Christo. And that's how Little Bay began. The big difficulty with Little Bay was getting permission. Because in those days, Christo and Jean-Claude were not well known at all, not like now where they're celebrities. At that time, all the coastline around Sydney was owned by the army, navy or government. So I just knocked on doors and said to these officials, I'd like to borrow a piece of your coastline. And they said, what for? Well, I said, I'd like to put up a temporary sculpture. And they said, what kind of sculpture? Well, we just want to wrap it. Well, most of the time I was just thrown out of those offices. But finally, I got to Prince Henry Hospital and the director, Dr. Clancy said, well, sounds crazy, but if you cover the insurance, and if we can charge an admission which will go to the hospital, the nurses and patients will probably enjoy. So that's how we got permission. That's how it all started. If you come and visit the gallery, you will not only see the history of the art projects, beginning from Christo 40 years ago, but you will see the latest, the brand new project from a Japanese artist called Tatsu Nishi. I heard about Nishi's work about four or five years ago now, and I just thought this would be perfect. It's currently under construction, and I think it will be a great project. People will love it. And one of the aims of our projects is for the everyday passerby to come face to face with a project and to make their eyes open, to make them wonder, well, what is this? And I think to encounter art unexpectedly is a great experience.